and awesome. So it's going to create a, um, a, an app automatically with some, uh, some categories that you created the posts, um, but we need to change the design a little bit. Um, so uh, the first thing that we're going to want to do is let's go into our data tab. And what we want to do is we want to create a relation between the categories and posts. So, um, so that, for example, in the app, when we click on jobs, it will show us all of the posts um, with jobs. So the way that you do that is on the top right under add column. Uh, uh, just click on that plus sign and let's add a label called um, um, post relation. And let's make the column type a relation. And it's going to be to the item where name matches the value in posts category. And we want to match multiple. And let's go ahead and hit done. So here you can see it's pulling in uh, two housing, one for sale, and one jobs. Um, one thing just to be aware of in your uh, spreadsheet is you don't want to have any spaces or anything. Uh, after you finish typing uh, because if you do then it's not going to match because it's looking for an exact match between these words and the and the words in the category so just something to be aware of and so now we have these um, and let's go back to our layout and under uh, this uh, we can change the style to uh, different styles if you wanted, but I think uh, tiles work well here. Uh, kind of a minimalist um, uh, layout uh, similar to Craigslist. And uh, so now uh, we have the categories um, and let's go ahead and click in and we have this blank uh, page now. But what we wanna do is pull in um, all of the, the posts that are related to housing. Uh, so uh, let's delete this title and let's just add an inline list and we want the values to be that post relation um, this way um, now we're pulling in all of the, um, the housing categories and let's just style this a little bit better so under the image let's add the photo um, under details let's add uh, description and under caption let's add the created at um, and there's we don't need any title here so now uh, if you click into jobs it's gonna pull in the job and if you click into for sale it's gonna pull in the bike um, and the cool thing here is you can also um, under features, let's hit show search bar in that inline list. Um, and you can even search uh, by uh, specific uh, words um, in the description. So here located is here. That's more useful when you have obviously, uh, you know, dozens or hundreds of, of listings. Uh, so awesome. So we have uh, an ability for users to come in, uh, they can view the the, the posts um, and now uh, let's edit this section a little bit um, so this is going to be if you uh, you know you're browsing you click in to the actual um, post itself and now let's style this okay cool so um, so let's style it first let's just remove everything and start with the blank slate um, let's add a title and the details let's We'll make that blank under photo. Let's keep that as the photo. And uh, image is URL, that's fine. Um, and let's go back. Let's add a text um, as the source column is the description. Style is regular, everything else is regular. That looks good. Um, let's go back. And, and now we want to have a way for the uh, the user to actually contact and email the poster. Uh, so all we have to do is add a component. We're going to add a button. Um, and there is two ways to do it. So one way is you could have this email 
button. Um, but what that's going to do is actually display the email in the app. And um, you could definitely do that uh, if your app, if that worked for your app. Um, but I like for privacy reasons, um, it's, I like it better to add a button. And what we're going to do is title this reply. And we're going to go to features and the action is going to be to send email and the email is going to be to that email um, that we wrote in. Perfect. Uh, let's go back, uh, let's add a share button as well. So over here, all we have to do is duplicate the button we just made. Uh, let's go in, let's change to share with friend and let's change the style to, uh, to I would say, uh, you can do whatever you want. I like um, this with just the text. And under features, change this to, uh, to show sharing options. And what that's going to do is when you click it, it's going to uh, pop up on your phone uh, to ask if you want to share the post via um, you know, text message or however you, know, however you want to share it. And let's go back. Uh, let's add one more. Um, uh, let's add two more things. First, a separator. So there's a little bit of separation. Well, let's go back and let's add a, another button. Uh, this one, let's title flag post. And let's make this, uh, I like this kind of lighter background here. Uh, and what this is gonna do is we're gonna open a show form. Uh, let's go back and let's leave it like that for now. Um, in a minute, I'll show you how to actually uh, build that form to collect um, any flags. All right, so we're gonna uh, create another tab in the spreadsheet. Uh, so we can collect our uh, submissions for anyone flagging a, um, a post. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's add a sheet. Let's call it flags. And let's add um, uh, three uh, headings here. It's gonna call, let's call it post. Um, let's call it email and reason. So uh, go back to your app and under this flag post, click on that. The destination is going to be, oh, it's not showing up. If you just hit reload sheet, the, the new uh, sheet should pop up. So you just have to go back to a post, click flag post. The destination is going to be the flag. Um, so let's get rid of all the components. So the first thing to do is um, let's, let's actually go back to our um, spreadsheet. Let's add one more thing, which is going to be called created at. Uh, which is going to be a timestamp of when the, the post was flagged. Let's go back to our app, uh, reload the sheet, and uh, let's go ahead first. Let's click special value, current date time. That's going to create it at. Let's add another. Um, here, this is pulling in columns from the post. Uh, so we want the uh, the title as the um, post name, so post. We want to add the email. Uh, this is the user email that created the post, and we want to pull that into email so that way we can actually see who, uh, who created the post that's being flagged. And then one more, let's add a text entry, and this is going to go to the reason, and let's title this um, you know, uh, why are you flagging this post? And perfect. Let's make this required because I think it's important for, uh, for, you know, the admin of the app to actually see the reason that it's being uh, flagged. So all we'd have to go is here, um, let's say it's, uh, you know, um, duplicate uh, ad or, or post or whatever you want to say. Uh, here, let's hit submit. Uh, so the flag is sent. Uh, let's go back to our spreadsheet, and you can see now the flags are all sent here. Um, and this is cool uh, if you know if your app um, started to get a lot of users, um, and you wanted to monitor, uh, have the users kind of self-monitor the app. Um, what you could do is you could set up like an email notification. So as um, you know, flags came in, you could uh, check it out and take down the post if needed. 
Uh, so just a cool feature to, uh, to have built in.